For today's declutter challenge, I'm going to be working on this cabinet in my kitchen. Um, I don't really know what to call this cabinet. Um, I guess I'll just label it my coffee and tea cabinet because I have all, all of my extra coffee and tea in here, plus uh, a few other things. So let's get busy and get this cabinet decluttered and reorganized. So here it is all organized. I just basically rearranged things. Um, over here I have all my honey and molasses and brown sugar and powdered sugar, and my coconut oil, and these are all my various tea bags. And then down here, these are my measuring cups. This is my coffee grinder. And then here's all my stash of coffees, different flavors, and I've got whole bean coffee back there, which I use the grinder for. And then in this bin, I just have jello and pudding mixes and straws. And then my coconut milk powder. These are the things I took out of that cupboard. Um, this is just some seasoning mix. I'm gonna put it in my spice cabinet. This is some blackstrap molasses that I had bought um, back last summer and it tastes disgusting so I'm going to probably use it to feed to the animals but I'm not going to keep it up in that cupboard anymore I'll find a different spot for that these are candles birthday cake candles I'm just going to give these to Goodwill um, we don't really do candles anymore we're all past that stage of wanting to put candles on our cake so of those and then this is just a bag of marshmallows that I didn't even know were up there and I'm going to put these back in the cupboard with the rest of my marshmallows. So that is my decluttering challenge for today. For today's decluttering challenge I'm going to uh, take out all of uh, the glasses and mugs and plates and bowls out of this and reorganize and probably downsize. So let's get started decluttering this cabinet. Okay, so there it is all cleaned out and reorganized. Now there are lots of cups and glasses in the dishwasher, but now that I downsized, there's plenty of room for them to, when we put them away. So it wasn't a big job, but it was one that I needed to do. And let me show you what I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of these two cereal bowls. I just don't need them. And I bought some new ones from Dollar Tree a while back, and so um, I'm going to get give those to Goodwill. These I'm just going to put in my uh, canning cupboard, empty canning jars. Uh, this water bottle, um, it's cute, but it's not insulated, and so it sweats really bad, and nothing stays really cold in it. So I'm going to give that to Goodwill. And then this is just a cup that I'll probably give to Olivia. She can use for um, putting water in for when she does her painting. So that is the declutter challenge for today. For today's decluttering challenge, I am going to go through my dresser. And I'm going to declutter all four drawers and I'm going to really be uh, hard on myself and I'm going to get rid of a lot of clothes that I have not worn in the last year. So let's get going on today's declutter challenge. Alright, 
there's the pile of clothes I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm going to give to Goodwill. <coughs> that is a pile of pantyhose that um, I don't wear pantyhose anymore. Um, I haven't used to wear pantyhose all the time, and now I don't because they're uncomfortable and I don't like them. So I'm going to give those to Goodwill. And then this is a pile of old, worn out underwear and socks that I'm just going to throw in the trash. Okay, so that is today's um, decluttering challenge. And I feel really good about getting that dresser completely cleaned out. For the final two days of my 20 day declutter challenge, I'm going to tackle the absolute worst spot in my whole house. Are you ready to see? Oh, I'm embarrassed to show you. This is the state of my office. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to split this up into two days because this is just one of those jobs that's very daunting and I don't even know where to start. And so I'm just going to take it into two days Today, I'm going to work on the floor. I figured I can't even tackle this countertop until I get, get this floor cleaned out and uh, get, get this stuff where it needs to go. So, join me as I get this office whipped into shape. bad as I expected it to be but I knew the floor part wasn't going to be the hard part it's going to be that but I am not tackling that today I'm saving that for tomorrow so basically all I did was I put that tub back where it belonged um, there was some different pans and cake pans and that kind of stuff that needed to go back in the utility room I put those up there were two boxes there that were heaping full of stuff for Goodwill so I had Travis take that upstairs. I've got a big old Goodwill pile up there that uh, I'll show you at the end. Um, it's all of the fruits of my decluttering labors. And so those boxes are out of here. And yeah, there we go. And I vacuumed it and it looks so much better. I actually feel like I can breathe and I feel like I can tackle this now. So come back tomorrow for day 20 of the declutter challenge as I tackle this countertop. All right, it is day 20 and it's time to tackle this mess on my counter in my office. And the way I'm going to handle it is I've got these containers down here. Um, this is going to be in this box, I'm going to put the things that I'm going to give away. In this basket, I'm going to put the things that I need to put away, that they, you know, they have a place somewhere else other than my office to put them away. This container is just my, it's just a spare empty tub that I have that I put home decor in um, that I don't want to get rid of, but I don't keep out all the time. So I'm going to be using that for that. And then I've got my trash can for stuff that I'm going to throw away. So let's get busy. This is a job I've been dreading, but it is past time to be getting it done. <laughs>
you know, it's funny how you, you dread things, you dread jobs, and you think they're going to be so hard and so time consuming. And this literally took me, I don't know, 10 minutes to clean this off. Now I do have this basket of stuff that I need to go through and put these things away. Um, there's some papers in there that I need to decide if I'm going to keep them or if I'm going to throw them away. So I'm going to be taking care of that. Um, this box is things that I'm going to take upstairs that are going to go to Goodwill. I'm not going to go through all of them. It's just miscellaneous home decor things and stuff that I just don't need anymore. So those are going to go. And then this is my tub of seasonal decor that I'm just going to put the lid on this and put it in my um, closet with all the rest of my decor. So, yay! I'm so glad this job is done. Now, the trick is going to be keeping it this way. That will be the trick. All right, friends. I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me for the last 20 days as I decluttered my house. Um, it feels so good to have it all taken care of and my problem areas have been dealt with. Now that doesn't mean to say that I don't have other areas in my house that I could work on and I will be working on those areas. But this was the 20 areas in my home that have been bothering me and I knew I needed to deal with. So I'm so thankful to have gotten that done and thank you so much for hanging out with me these last 20 days and watching these videos. I'll insert a picture here of the pile of stuff that's going to be going to Goodwill. As soon as I take that, took that picture, we loaded that stuff in the truck and it's on its way to Goodwill. And I'm so glad to have it out of my house. Thanks a lot for watching, friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Thanks a lot, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.